have you ever thought of marrying a woman and being paid for it? Sounds like a fantasy, doesn't it? Well, hold on to your hats, because today we're venturing into a realm where this fantasy becomes reality. There are corners of the world where men receive financial rewards for marrying local women. These intriguing practices stem from reasons like gender imbalance or the desire to preserve local culture. Intrigued? Join us on this unique journey across 15 places where you'll be paid to marry their women. First stop is Niigata in Japan, a beautiful city known for its rich culture and history. Now, allow me to share a quirky tale that might pique your interest. There once was a chap, not unlike myself, who was offered a pretty penny to marry a woman from Niigata. Quite the proposal, wouldn't you say? This isn't as uncommon as it may sound, and it's compelled by a significant gender imbalance in the city. You see, Niigata, like many rural areas in Japan, struggles with a shrinking population and a hefty gender imbalance. Many young women depart for brighter lights in bigger cities, leaving behind a surplus of men. This has led to incentives for those willing to marry local women and settle down in Niigata. Imagine that being paid to fall in love and in a city as charming and steeped in tradition as Niigata. So if you fancy Japanese culture, Niigata might be your destination. Next, we travel to the African continent, specifically to Lavushimanda, Zambia. This vibrant region boasts not only an abundance of natural beauty, but also a wealth of cultural traditions. One of the most fascinating of these is a custom that sees men paid in cattle to marry women from the area. A marriage in Lavashimanda is not just a union between two individuals, but a connection of families, a merging of histories. The payment of cattle, a symbol of wealth and prosperity, is more than a transaction, it's an affirmation of commitment. A testament to the value placed on these unions, this tradition has been instrumental in preserving the culture of Lavushimanda. It fosters a sense of community, encourages respect for the institution of marriage, and promotes the continuity of their heritage. In Lavushimanda, marriage is not just about two hearts coming together, it's an intricate tapestry of love, respect, and tradition. Lavushimanda, a place where love and tradition intertwine. From the warmth of Africa, we journey to the frosty landscapes of Siberia in Russia. Let's delve into a fascinating tale that circulates in these snow-laden lands. The story is of a man who, upon marrying a Siberian woman, was bestowed with a generous gift, a plot of land. Indeed, this is a Siberian tradition, a unique incentive to address the striking gender imbalance in the region. The vast expanse of Siberia is predominantly male, with women making up just four out of every ten residents. This stark disparity has led to the implementation of intriguing measures such as the aforementioned land gift. In this icy wilderness, the ties of matrimony are not just a bond of love, but also a ticket to property ownership. So if you're a fan of frigid winters, vast landscapes and the prospect of owning land, Siberia might just be the place for you. Siberia, a place where love could land you some land. We have traveled from Japan to Zambia and then to Russia. Fascinating, isn't it? In Niigata, Japan, the promise of a fulfilling life awaits. Lavashimanda, Zambia offers a bounty of cattle, and while Siberia, Russia presents a cash incentive. The world is full of surprising opportunities. If you found this captivating, don't forget to hit that like button, share this adventure with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing journeys. Stay tuned for the next 10 places where you can be paid to marry. Buckle up, because we're going on a whirlwind tour of the next 10 places. First stop, we're off to the sunny shores of Cyprus. This Mediterranean gem offers more than just breathtaking views. Local women, eager to tie the knot, are offering financial incentives to prospective husbands. Next, we're jetting off to the Emerald Isle of Ireland. Here, in the picturesque countryside, Men are being paid handsomely to marry local women, ensuring the continuation of their rich heritage and traditions. Third on our list, we're heading to the rugged landscapes of Iceland. This Nordic country, known for its stunning natural beauty, is where men are receiving a different kind of treasure, a financial boost from marrying local women. Our fourth destination takes us to the heart of Europe, Austria. Amidst the alpine peaks and charming villages, men are being rewarded financially for saying I do to local women. Before we continue, please, if you find value in these video, please like and subscribe to the channel as these helps us in creating more valuable videos like this. You can as well share with friends. Thank you so much. Let's continue. 
Fifth, we're off to the picturesque landscapes of New Zealand. Here in the land of the long white cloud, men are reaping the benefits of marrying local Kiwi women. Next, we're heading to the exotic lands of Thailand. Known for its vibrant culture and stunning beaches, men here are being paid a pretty penny to marry local women. Seventh, we're off to the romantic city of Paris, France. Here, love is definitely in the air and men are being financially incentivized to marry local women. Our eighth stop is the vibrant and colorful India. Amidst the hustle and bustle, men are being paid to marry local women, ensuring the preservation of their rich traditions. Ninth, we're heading to the sun-drenched beaches of Brazil. In this South American paradise, men are being paid to marry local women, adding a financial incentive to their romantic pursuits. And last but not least, our tenth stop takes us to the beautiful landscapes of Canada. Here in the land of the maple leaf, men are being financially rewarded for marrying local women. And that, my friends, was a quick roundup of 10 more places where love comes with a different kind of reward. From Japan's Niigata to Russia's Siberia, we've seen how love can indeed be rewarding. In our extraordinary journey, we've traversed 13 incredible places where love is not just an emotion, but a path to a rewarding life, quite literally. We've explored the snowy landscapes of Siberia, the vibrant markets of Zambia's Lavashimanda, and the tranquil serenity of Niigata. Each place with its unique culture and traditions has painted a beautiful picture of how love transcends boundaries and norms. While these practices might seem unusual, they are deeply rooted in societal and cultural reasons. It's not just about the monetary rewards, but a means to preserve heritage, ensure population balance, or even promote social cohesion. Remember, the world is full of unique traditions and practices, so keep exploring, and who knows, you might stumble upon your own rewarding love story. Until next time, cheerio.